Absolutely. I'm just curious, you know, with AI, and I and I, I know this is your podcast, but I'm going to ask you a question. How much that you've been using it in your classrooms? Yes, Jackie. that's a great question. Uh, with Grand Canyon University, they've taken the approach of not policing it, but uh, okay. incorporating it. Yeah. yeah. And, and so um, they just revised the uh, master's program and in instructional design. And so they've got a couple of competencies that are AI focused. Are they? It's really okay. great. And then they revised all of the courses that I teach. And so um, I'm teaching a course right now. It's called Organizational workplace and performance improvement. And so it's oh, all cool. about OKRs and all those different things, but it's really great because they've got an assignment coming up in, I think it's topic five. They've got an assignment coming up where they have to, uh, they have some case studies and they have to use, utilize AI technology to kind of have that back and forth conversation with the tool and get some outputs and it's to help them build an e-learning module. So it's really interesting. And I'm like, Ooh, well, that this is, is cool. cool. And yeah. Are they Rated on their prompt engineering or how they, you know, critically think through the process or is it just on the end result? Yeah, okay. it's kind of on the end result, but they are supposed to give screenshots or, okay. um, or something like that. They can either do screenshots or do uh, like a copy paste into a Word document of the conversation that they had with AI and some of what their prompts were and things like that and how they did that back and forth. So it's pretty cool. It's funny though. I had one, of, I have a student that sends me a message almost every day because she wants to make sure that she's doing things right. And, and I uh, appreciate that, uh, but she's okay. very much on top of things. And she asked me, she, I didn't think of this until she asked the question. And I thought, well, maybe we need to put this in the syllabus or maybe I need to put it in my future announcements. But she's like, how many times do I need to have a conversation with the AI tool? How much are you expecting with that? And I said, there's really no number. It's just how, however much you think you need to do of back and forth, to where you get that result that you're looking for that can help you inform your e-learning module. So I said, there's no, there's no real number around it because I've used AI in my profession in start, in, as an instructional designer. And I've noticed that sometimes the AI tool gets me the, the first draft of what I'm looking for and kind of in that, that realm within a few prompts. And then sometimes I have to probe it more and I'm like, mm, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Can no, this is, you know, Sounds like kind such of, a better expert. Yeah, Same exactly. Thing, right? Yeah, it's, a, it's kind of that virtual assistant where I'm like, eh, no, you're not quite there. Can you adjust this a little bit? Or, uh, yeah, because I noticed that uh, the AI tools, they love bullets and lists. And so, unfortunately, our system doesn't allow multi level lists. So, we're trying to figure out how can we train the AI model, yeah, our internal AI language. model. Yeah. The LLM. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah, to do that. It's really <laughs> yeah. interesting. Yeah. And, right. you know, and speaking of mistakes, I mean, I've made mistakes with AI too. I mean, I've had things hallucinate and I've had to really check very closely. Yeah. And that's one area that I really, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing more development for those of us in this profession, instructional designers, anybody who's involved with developing, learning, uh, that type of thing, you know, really getting comfortable with utilizing the, the technology in the way it should be. And I don't want to lose sight of critical thinking. I'm always concerned about that too. Um, you know, uh, just like anything else, our, our critical thinking is a muscle. We need to keep exercising it. And I get concerned that over-reliance on that particular tool can uh, cause us to um, atrophy that, right. that so you know i i'm i'm encouraged when i hear people like you that you're really in, you know fostering that critical thinking piece 